Hello friends in video I will show you comparison operators on PHP. Friends first I show you equal to operator. Its sign is double equal to. It returns true if both values are same. It check only value not data type of value. For example friends I have two variable, value 1 and value 2. Suppose value 1 is equal to 10 and value 2 is equal to 10 also. Now friends I write if statement with condition value 1 double equal to value 2. If this condition is true then if print value 1 and value 2 are same. But if friends above condition is false then it will print else block message like value 1 and value 2 are not same. Now friends I checked in browser, it display value 1 and value 2 are same. Suppose friends I change value of variable second by 10 to 20 and check in browser. Friends it display value 1 and value 2 are not same. Now friends I again change value of variable second by 20 to 10. Friends I also put double quotation mark before and after value. Now friends it is string value. So, what result will come checked in browser. Friends it is display value 1 and value 2 are same. Friends this double equal to operator only check variable value not a data type. Now friends I move to next operator which is triple equal to. Friends this operator return true if value 1 equal to value value 2 and it is also check both variable data type must be same. For example suppose friends I change double equal to sign to triple equal to sign. Friends here value 1 data type is integer and value 2 data type is string. Now I check in browser. Friends it return value 1 is not equal to value 2 because both variable has different data type. Now suppose I remove quotation mark from second variable value and then after check in browser. Friends it return value 1 is equal to value 2. From this example it clear that triple equal is not only check two variable value but also it check both value has same data type. If both condition are true then it return true otherwise it return false. While double equal to operator is compare two variable value not a data type. If both values are same then it return true otherwise it return false. Now friends I show you not equal to operator. It has two sign one is exclamation mark with equal to sign and second is less than and greater than sign. It return true if value one is not equal to value two. For example friends I have two variable. Value one equal to ten and value two is equal to twenty. Now friends I write if statement with condition value one is not equal to value two. If this condition is true then it print value 1 is not equal to value 2. Suppose friends if above condition is false then it will print value 1 and value 2 are same. Now friends I check output in browser. Friends it return value 1 is not equal to value 2. Now suppose friends I change second variable value by 20 to 10 and then after I check in browser. Friends it return else block message value 1 and value 2 are same because above condition is false. Now friends I move to next operator greater than. It return true if value 1 is greater than value 2. For example friends I have make one web application and only person whose age is greater than 18 year can vote. For this I have defined one variable age and its value is 20. Now friends I write if statement with condition variable age greater than 18. If this condition is true then it will print yes you can vote. If above condition is false then it print tells block message you cannot vote. Now I check output in browser. 
friends at display yes you can vote. Now friends I change value of age from 20 to 15 and then after I checked in browser. Friends at display you cannot vote. Friends first it check above condition and check age is greater than 18 or not if this condition false then it print else block message. Now friends I move to next next operator greater than or equal to. It return true if value 1 is greater than and equal to value 2. For example friends if person whose age is greater than and equal to 18 can vote. For this I have change variable age value from 15 to 18. Now friends I have write of statement with condition if age greater than equal to 18 then it will print message you can vote. But suppose friends above condition false then it will print else block message like you cannot vote. Now friends I check out what in browser. Now friends I change value of age variable from 18 to 15 and after I check into browser. Friends it return you cannot value. Here first it check age is greater than or equal to 18. This condition is false then it print else block message. Now friends I have moved to next operator less than. It return true if value 1 is less than value 2. For example I want to check person age whose age is less than 18. They cannot vote. For this I have write of statement with condition if age is less than 18 then it will print message you cannot vote. If friends above condition is false then it will print else block message you can vote. Now I check into browser. Friends at display you cannot vote. Now friends I change variable age value from 15 to 20 and after I check into browser. Friends it print you can vote. Here friends first it check age is less than 18. Friends this condition is false so it goes to else block and print you can vote. Now friends I show you last operator less than equal to. It return true if value 1 is less than or equal to value 2. For example friends I want a person age whose age is less or equal to 18. They cannot vote. For this friends first change variable age value from 20 to 18. For this I have write of statement with condition age is less than or equal 18. If this condition is true then it will print you cannot vote. But if above condition false then it will goes to else block and print message you can vote. Now check this in browser. Friends at display you cannot vote. Now friends I change value of age from 18 to 20 and after check in browser. Friends at display you can vote. Here friends first it check age is less than or equal to 18. This condition is false so it goes to else block and print message you can vote. Friends this is my video PHP beginner tutorial on comparison operators. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.